Relocate our office space. See how that works out for you. This one is a small victory, but was super satisfying for me so I wanted to share. I worked for a large international accounting firm with offices all over the country. Our boss, Karen, was well liked until she became the boss. A smiling assassin type who only cared about her position and looking good in front of the hire. Ups. All about the numbers, even if what we had to do to get to those numbers didn't make sense. So here's the story. My team, about 12, were primarily based in the London office but once a week, per my contract and everyone else's, were required to work in a remote office ages from London. This place was miserable. A building in the middle of nowhere. One tiny corner shop for snacks. Next to a motorway. The closest place to eat was a 15 minutes drive away. We all hated it. But hey ho, it was only once a week. Anyway, when our boss got promoted her sole life mission was to cut costs. Everything from stopping overtime to telling us we had no stationary budget for pens and had to take from other teams stores to allowing only one meal on social drinks and making comments at the meal when someone chose theirs to be the more expensive option eg are you really choosing that it's expensive i'm not sure we are going to have enough budget this is considering all other teams went for large fancy dinners all the time unlimited drinks etc at one point she decided that the miserable location should be our primary office and she wanted us all to go there four days a week instead of one. All but one of our team were living in London. This meant for me, a two, five hours journey one way instead of one hour. After a few months this really took its toll. The assistant manager, a friend of mine, told me she said in passing to him that this office was less of a cost on our team budget than the London office. What a shock. I decided to speak to HR and see what my options or maybe get an exception. Well, turns out we had a policy that anything over your normal travel hours to the closest office location to your home could be used as your working hours, aka. The extra 1.5 hours each way would be considered working hours. So I could arrive at 10.30 instead of 9 a.m. and leave at 4 instead of 5.30 also. If trains and things were delayed or cancelled, that would also be included in working hours. This happened often as this place was the middle of nowhere. In frequent trains. So I was often arrive at 11.30. I forwarded the emails with hour to her and explained how I would be complying with this policy. She agreed, but tried in a meeting to tell me this was an exception for me and to not tell anyone else. Well, I told everyone else and we all begun complying with the policy. This meant we spent less time in the office and productivity dwindled. She mentioned this a lot in meetings. I would often respectfully point out that it didn't make sense to force us to travel to this office and its effects i was the main one speaking up about this at some point maybe a few months later she told me i could go to five days in the london office but again this was a special arrangement for me in that she appreciated me and was making accommodations only for me she also said she would tell everyone I had special circumstances that allowed me this arrangement and to keep our conversation confidential. I honestly think she just got fed up with me pointing out how our productivity is lower only because she made us travel there four days a week. Of course I complied but the team noticed I wasn't with them and let's just say it caused a bit of a riot. I didn't say anything but they figured it out themselves. No special circumstances here. Slowly but surely one after the other. My colleagues started joining me in London getting their own special arrangements with her. At some point the majority were in London. Eventually it was just her and the only other local colleague at this office while we were in London. We all had a good chuckle about when she would cave. It took a good few weeks. 
Then we got the email that our permanent location going forward would be London. Five days a week. And the one local employee to that terrible office would work from home and come in once a month. It may have happened anyway but I'd like to think that me speaking to HR and finding that policy at least had a hand in getting us moved back to London. As for Karen, I could go on about so many stories with her but I did eventually leave for other reasons directly related to her. Unfortunately she is still in the same position at that company. I do however enjoy seeing her checking my LinkedIn profile from time to time and hopefully Noticing that since I left I have gone from a junior to the same position as her smile. That's what happens when manglement uses the calculator before using brains. So you got back pay for all those extra hours you did before you starting working your stipulated hours? What is really mind-bogglingly here is that it sounds like the company was still leasing the office. In London, you were just not using it. So how exactly was this supposed to save money? A better cost-saving idea would be just closing that terrible office and having everyone permanently at the London office. Why pay for rent and upkeep on something you don't use much? Don't know if there's a word in English for that kind of boss. In my workplace we call them Excel bosses only caring about the numbers a bde move would be to put your updated resume in for her job she certainly put her stink on everything the dumbest spiteful and ridiculous career climbers i know work for deloitte kpmg pwc ey delete as applicable I hope you claim the extra traveling expenses. So I'm guessing the office in middle of nowhere was near Karen's home? This sounds like a location I know just outside of Reading maybe the same place. With a lake and swans? Tears of joy. Damn she really took, gaslight gatekeep girl boss, seriously huh? All I got out of this was a motorway. WTF is a motorway? Loved it. Well done, op. Nicely done. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.